ass somewhere. But I, I wonder, you know, you're Mr. Uh, Mr. Wearable Device over there. Uh, but uh, the, this thing is called the Olio. And it's not out. It's it's kind of pre-release at this point. First batch of it is sold out, but you can sign up for more information. It is uh, their whole thing is it's a watch. It's a stylish watch first, kind of uh, going off of the leaf argument. You know, it, it's something that looks like a watch, but then it also does this other stuff, and these notifications pop up around around the watch face and everything. I think. Uh, I, and again, being not an Apple device, being not an Android device, I kind of wonder what the compatibility is going to be like, much like, you know, it's a little worrisome when it comes to Pebble uh, from time to time. But, and also because this is stylish first, this might be an $800 watch to begin with, guys. So this may not be for us that are just fine with our Pebble watches. Uh, but it looks slick. It's an interesting thing. We're going to have a lot of these things that we're going to find over that we'll never afford because we're just not watch people, for instance. Um, and I'm wondering, I think you can see the video over there, a little bit of this. It's uh, oleodevices.com. That's O-L-I-O devices.com if you want to check out more information on this. Uh, uh, Chilla, what do you think about uh, this form factor and kind of what they're presenting here so far? Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, it looks looks super impressive, mm -hmm. um, it, but it does look pretty thick. So I wonder if they're trying to solve a battery problem or the time the, the time problem right through, through thickness because that device mm -hmm. looks as thick if not thicker than the Moto 360. And I feel like there was a, I feel like there was a pretty darn thick device. I feel like there was a mention of that too uh, in the video about about the time about it not not being just a day, for instance. Right now, the the one thing I will say is uh, their ad makes it look extremely extremely extravagant mm -hmm. like the, the whole the whole way they tied in a lot of the they used app screen captures for like whatsapp if you were if you were watching and, and you kind of paused it along the way um they're showing it almost as if they're trying to upplay the fact that, that their device is going to look as close to or or spot on with with a lot of the apps um, if they can pull that off, I, I think it'll be great. You can see that from what it looks like, their 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 clasp is modeled off of that one of the clasps that um, that Apple's using. Um, but I'll tell you what, the, the, that device looks the, the, the watch faces look stunning. You, you want one, um, right? I mean, it, 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 I, it's... I do. It, that does make me think. I hope. And, and and how how much is it going to take for Apple to take a lot of this, right? Right. Um, but it, it looks like a great device. And then to your point, what's the what is the price on that? Oh, well, you know, I didn't hit the shop button, but it just said it's sold out. But um, yeah, they're not. I don't even see a price on this. Let me see if I view styles. They're not even listing it at this. Oh nope yeah. nope. I found it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, no, this is uh, starting at seven hundred forty-five dollars. So and these are even these are the like leather and black and in in you know the bang on your band and everything. Like, yeah. So yeah, we're definitely oh you got I didn't look even look into this stuff. Um and, and it is both the iOS and Android uh, compatible. Whew. A lot about the. And it's so if you look at their watch face, they have a watch. They have watch faces that are called complications. Mm hmm. Which is a uh, standard. <laughs> I, it'll be interesting. I, it'll be interesting to see. I don't see other companies having a problem mimicking what they're doing, mm -hmm. other than the actual look of the front face of the device. The other thing is, and you, I couldn't tell from the ad when you actually, if you stop right on that that section you're on, and you look at the watch face. Notice there's the flat part at the top. That's mm -hmm. not the watch screen. Mm -hmm. There's your flat it's tire. It's actually the bezel. There's the flat spot that's at the bottom of, of a lot of the Android Wear watches. But it's not like um, it's not white on black, so it's not sticking out as much. Also, right. I want I want to point out like all these notifications look the same. There's nothing mm -hmm. very special happening here really um so i mean it, it, it's just it, it, okay they have some special stuff for navigation it looks different for music connected devices calls but other than that i mean it seems like it's a pretty standard they're accepting notifications just like your pebble watch does 
They're just making a better presentation in the physical watch itself and screen. Mm -hmm. So very interesting to look at. And, and we're going to have a lot of, you know, I, I always I always thought it was funny because the tech news was always, I read the blogs, I watched the, listened to, watched the podcast, watched the TV. And it was always the conversation when I was in my day um, <laughs> was, remember, it was CPUs, how to build a computer, clock speeds, all that kind of stuff, graphic cards, putting that in the thing to the point where we talk about phones and almost phones exclusively these days because that's how we're computing. Like, again, almost exclusively in some of our cases. And now we're going to be talking about these things in our wrists. Like, that's where we're at. And, and I think that's been an interesting thing. If I was doing this podcast 15 years ago, we would be talking about my IBM Pentium 166 and how cool that is. 